Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook, always has the frame, just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Oliveira is four years the elder. He is one inch taller. The reach is identical. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 32 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dobrox Oliveira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself. Oh, man. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by the jump. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody. But he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. He is all about that left kick to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, nice jab up top by Conor. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. He's able to slip the left there. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Nice punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful counter on the uppercut. Perfectly timed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful body kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches. He won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Head kick lands. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by McGregor. Watch knees to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Not there. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, God. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lands the double jab. That's a big strike right there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oliveira gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Way to hide that leg kick. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oliveira gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. He's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. So 103 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Olivera's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Nice head kick. Nice loop of punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice body kick. How about that chin? Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Oliveira. He's doing again. Doing again. Pick it up. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more ball. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Switching stances here. Nice punch there by Oliveira. And that one certainly found the target. Right hand upstairs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. with that attempt. Lands a switch kick. 15 seconds. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Entertaining scrap so far. Você vai mandar ele pra 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. attempt but unable to land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Slip. See on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. 162 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop for this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, there